Hey, what's up guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Hope you guys are doing well. Hey, for all you guys that are Team Xmark, wanna hop into a little 500 hour review here for the Xmark Vertex and also the 1500 hour review on another Laser Z. So long story short, a lot of you guys know that we've been Team Xmark for, gosh, 17 years, pretty much since day one. My very first mower was an Xmark Viking walk behind, 48 inch, maybe a 14 horsepower Kawasaki engine, can't really remember. Finance that through Sheffield Financial, good old Sheffield back in the day, and uh, we've been Team Xmark ever since. So, a lot of you guys have been asking for a review on the Vertex. Well, here's 500 hours later. Do we like it? I absolutely love it. Let me show you guys around really quick. So you guys can see, ours definitely needs a, a little TLC, AKA a power washing. I know I get critiqued a lot of times in the videos for the mowers are too clean, we don't work, and the mowers are too dirty. Do we ever wash our equipment? Well. Can't really make everybody on the internet happy, but we do try to make our customers happy, and that's what it's all about. So you guys can see right here, this is the uh, 2021, no, I'm sorry, 2022 Xmark Vertex. This is the S series. We do have the Kawasaki power plant. Uh, between the Kawasaki and the Kohler, my answer is get whatever one you can get that's in stock. These have been uh, hard to find. Uh, just in general, I think they're working through a lot of those supply issues lately, so things are coming back in stock. But just like all the brands through the COVID years, you guys know that these have been uh, hard to get. Uh, I do love the Kawasaki engine. That being said, we have not had this thing bog out one single time while we've been mowing grass. And we've mowed some pretty thick stuff. Uh, let me see what else I can show you guys. And I do have a couple critiques that we'll get into in just a quick second. Uh, but just for a little fact check, just so you guys know that we are honest with our assessment here 550 hours if that's coming through on the camera and i will tell you guys honestly we have basically exclusively went to mowing with the vertex so the laser z we're trying to save the hours save the shelf life on it for cleanups we still mow with it when we do require two mowers which is basically our monday and tuesday route for our commercial stuff but nonetheless the vertex has been a champ now i do have a couple things that i want to weigh in on really quick that I think are opportunities for improvements or maybe even a different model or upgrade. So hang tight. All right, so sorry about the quick transition here. The guys just got done edging and blowing. We just wrapped up 28 lawns in this subdivision, nine in another subdivision, and the HOA in here. So it's been a pretty busy day. Uh, let me do this really quick. No mower and no brand is without sin. I've said that many times on our review videos. We try to shoot it as straight as possible. When these things are 10, 12 grand a pop, we wanna make sure that you guys feel like you're getting the most uh, honest assessment review uh, unbiased, uh, so on and so forth, it, info and uh, feedback that we can give you guys, if that makes sense. I don't forget what it was like buying my first mower for five grand, my second one for 10, the other ones for 12s and 13s. Uh, we do partner up with Xmark to get a mower once in a uh, while to show you guys the latest and greatest, but I do take your guys' purchasing serious as well. So number one, uh, here's a couple critiques. Uh, there's no Tractus tires just yet for the Xmark Vertex. And I know there's some of you guys that are still not believers, even though they've been out for two or three years, but anybody who has them will tell you 100%, they're the best way to go. I wish, I wish my Vertex had Tractus tires. All right, another one. Unfortunately, there's no 72 inch version of the mower just yet. Now, I say just yet, by the way, I'm not privy to anything special or any information, but looking at the uh, Toro platforms that are out there, a lot of that stuff uh, they share with Xmark and Xmark shares with Toro, even though they're very independent of each other. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm hoping that maybe down in the future, we get a 72 inch option. We have some big HOAs and I'd love to put another Vertex in the fleet, uh, but I struggle to purchase another 60 when we already have a 60. I need to get uh, something that's 72 and see that or a Laser Z. So, which would be just fine. All right, uh, another one, no big block engines. Unfortunately, this thing taps out at 24, 25, 28 horsepower, whatever this engine is. It's optimized for the Vertex. Obviously nothing bad, but I'd definitely like to see something in a 34, or 37, or a 40 horsepower option that some of the other brands offer. Uh, one other quick uh, little thing I put on here, and it's a nuance, but there's no front receiver. You guys can see that we put the uh, cart mate here uh, on this thing for moving mulch all the time. This is the hitch mate from Dawson Manufacturing. I wish there was a two inch receiver somewhere up front. It should be a pretty standard option here. Uh, I'm not sure in today's world with all the different dethatchings and seating options that they didn't put a two inch receiver on the front of this mower. Uh, that being said, guys, if you're looking for an Xmark uh, Vertex, if you guys are looking to add a stand on to your fleet, I would highly encourage you guys to look at the uh, Xmark Vertex, uh, hashtag Team Xmark. If you guys wanna leave that in the comments down below, 
that's how I know you guys watch the whole way through. But the design has been solid. The comfort has been solid. Uh, we've made a couple critiques along the way. Wish the gas can tank was maybe a little bit bigger, but a little bit bigger tires, so on and so forth. But hey, for an S series, not too bad. And again, no speculation here, but maybe one day we'll have an X series and we can kind of build off of this platform. Bigger tires, bigger engine, bigger fuel tanks, bigger cutting deck. That's something that I'd like to see in the future. What would you guys like to see in the future? Leave me some comments down below and uh, that's what I got. For all you guys that are looking at the Xmark brand, still a solid buy. I have said this all the time. This thing is like a little Corvette going down the road. Some of their other sand duns that are out there, uh, they're big, they're beefy, but they weigh like a boat. This thing right here, it's nimble, it's fast, it's quick. And all of my guys prefer the stand on uh, over the sit down if you had the pick. But otherwise, two great mowers here. You can't go wrong with TMX Mark. That's what I got for you guys. Quick little review in the field. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, big thumbs up. And uh, we'll catch up with you guys here on the next one.